Good evening and uh, welcome to the uh, Mashpee Board of Selectmen, uh, December 18th meeting. If you join us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Again, if you join us in a moment of silence for those who protect, uh, lost their lives protecting our rights and freedoms. Thank you. Thank you. Um, approval of the minutes. I make a mo motion to approve Monday, November 27th. 2017 regular session. Second. Okay. Yes. Call. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Public mm -hmm. comment? No public comment. Um, we have. Um, I guess we're pretty close to uh, mm -hmm. public hearing. We have a public hearing at uh, 6:35, uh, private uh, to public road, uh, conversion. Uh, Winslow Drive and Holly Farm Drive. Pursuit to the Code of the Town of Mashpee, Section 150-6D, the Mashpee Board of Selectmen will be holding a hearing, public hearing on Monday, December 18, 2017 at 635 in the Warcoit Meeting Room at Mashpee Town Hall, 16 Great Neck Road North, Mashpee, Mass. The purpose of said hearing is to discuss the private to public road conversion of Winslow Drive and Holly Farm Drive as shown on plans entitled Winslow Drive Easement Taking Plan, dated July 28, 2017, and Holy, Holly Farm Drive Easement Taking Plan, dated July 28, 2017, prepared by Baxter Nye Engineering and Surveying. Copies of the plan <coughs> may be re reviewed in the office of the Board of Selectmen, Mashpee Town Hall, per order of the Mashpee Board of Selectmen. Good. Do we have somebody from uh, the oh, neighborhood? Yeah. 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 That's yeah, what I just did. I just That's called. the official. Okay. Winslow Drive. Winslow Drive. Well, well any comments? Uh, you want, you'll have to come to the microphone and just uh, sp speak if you'd like. Can I just speak from here? Uh, you can't because the people at home would love to hear your voice. Okay. Actually, I... Uh, <clears throat> I'm accustomed, as I am, to speaking in public. Is this it? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. My name is Callie Camasino. I live at 11 Winslow Drive. I'm the first house as you come into the development. I was taken aback by this letter because I have absolutely no knowledge of what constitutes a public road or a private road and how when I bought this house in 01, how did I know it was public or private? Does it have anything to do with my taxes? Um, and why only Holly Road Drive and Winslow are the only two roads affected. There's a lot of roads coming off Winslow. So those are just a couple of my questions. And also the biggest question is, what brought this up? What, um, what generated this talk of going from a public to a, from a private to a public? That's all I can think of for now, but maybe later. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Uh, Catherine, do you have the answers to that, or is there a petitioner here for the, are you the yes. petitioner of this? Yes. Would you like to sure. address those issues? Sure. Absolutely, please. Ed O'Connor, 3 Holly Farm Drive. I initiated the petition to make it to a private road, from a private road, because uh, I realized that when it's not a private, when it is a private road, the town has no responsibility to repair or do anything to it. That's why I didn't see if the neighbors would, that didn't know about it knows that you can have it accepted by the town if they accept it. It's the betterments that are assessed, usually up to 20 years, that's added on to your tax bill. And at that point, or in all during that time, from henceforth, any repairs or whatever is done 
is town land. <clears throat> it's no longer private. Private actually means no man's land. No one owns it. No one's really responsible for it. Only if neighbors get together, if there's a big pothole, if there's a drain or any problem. And that's the reason why I initiated the petition. I, I believe that's pretty much that cover what it? it comes down to. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, Explain this, how the petition works, 50% of the yeah, fifty percent of the of the uh, petition has to has to agree to this. Yeah. And I have another question on the the uh, total cost. I assume this is a ter complete tear down, right? The dirt starting over. Not not there's no such thing as an overlay or anything. They don't they always do that. Go right to dirt. We can have Catherine's here for that one, right? Yeah. I it, it, I think uh, just so you know what it wasn't explained that well, is any resident of the road can form a petition. He has to get 50% of those on the road. If there was uh, 10 houses, he has to have at least five houses to even bring it to us. That's how the petition came about. That's how <coughs> he was able to bring it to us. Uh, and the reason why I didn't go the other road is because I felt like a shoe salesman. So I just dealt with my two roads and there's other people are interested in their roads. They can form their own petitions. Okay. That's, that's the reason why that, that these two are just here, not the, not the whole. Of, it is a big development, but that's the only two roads. Right. So, so you, you've got enough signatures for your, your street? Um, yeah, to initiate this, and then after this meeting, then they'll have then to go you back and see forward. what they agree. Right. Um, the fact that I was trying to get across is this wasn't a road taking by the town. This is an initiative. By me. I, I, by yes, private petition. petition. Prior petition, right? Correct. And if you don't want me to just clarify, what's which address are you? Three. Three Holly Farm. Okay. Do you have it listed as a PO box, maybe? Yes. One forty-three. Okay. okay. Correct. That's. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, another question. This this is the cost, right? The final cost of the road. Catherine. That's on this. Is that 210,000? Yes. 210,060. Yeah, not, not to exceed not that to exceed. Right. Could be, less. Um, could be less. Could be less. I um, have a general idea of what they mean by could be less. Just like a little bit or a chunk. It won't be more than this. Excuse me? It, will it not won't be more. be more than this, but not knowing how much less, if it would be less. Why don't we have the director of the DPW step forward and address that uh, question for you? <coughs> Thank you, Catherine. I guess um, responding for the, to the first question, yes, this is a complete reconstruction of the road. Um, we do an assessment of the road just because, as, as you state, from this point forward, if it is accepted, the town is responsible for all maintenance and repair of the road in the future. So we want to make sure that the road is constructed to the town standards. Um, there are there is some cracking on the road. There is some an area where the road is is breaking down. Um, the depth of pavement is not sufficient for us to do a mill and overlay, so we are essentially looking at a, a reconstruction. Um, as was mentioned, this is a budget number of not to exceed. We are looking forward to potentially next year. We don't have construction costs a year in, in advance, so there are some estimating that, that's done. Um, we have a budget number for drainage. Um, if this moves forward, we'll do a full assessment of, of the drainage and whether or not additional drainage capacity is needed. Um, if it's not needed, then, then that could be up to a $20,000 savings. Um, it's, it's difficult to say, you know, until we really get into the project. Um, in the past, I'm gonna say that it probably comes in, I'm looking at the finance team, you know, probably, you know, between 80 and 90 percent of, of the, the estimate. So, you know, we want to make sure that the town isn't responsible for any construction costs <coughs> that exceed this, this number. Right. <coughs> Ask the woman if she understands. Is that satisfactory? Did you have your answers um, in that conversation? I'm still not clear why only those two roads are affected. Um, everybody comes in through Winslow. There are many other streets. So just that street and my street are going to be at the brunt of this, this construction? Yes. They don't pay to use your street. They don't, they don't pay for the access or the use of your street. That would be correct. They would pay for their streets if they were to join on 
and, and be a part of this, but they would only pay for the foot, the frontage of their, their property. That's how it breaks down. And that's all I'm going to pay is the frontage? The, that's what it breaks. It's not the frontage, it's the percentage of, right? Yeah, my, equally divided. Right, equally divided. Equally divided. Well, no, right. Wrote, that's houses right. on the street. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't seem right to me. I don't know why I have to pay because somebody wants his road repaired. Well, it's, it's your it's your road that you're paying to to have paid. Well, I, that could very well be, but it's 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 difficult. I'm I'm 81 years old. I'm two three years from selling the house and going into, and now I'm going to. I understand that I will have to pay it all. It, it, I'm, no. I'm going to have to ask you if you want to continue to speak. If you want to step there's, up to the microphone, just to have a further conversation. I mean, there that is one great. more. One, one more factor it has, it comes back to you now, in order for this to go, now that you have the figure of $12,262, you have to get 50% of the residents who uh, are on that road to agree to it. Well, that apparently was, they already did, right? Didn't no, you say you had they, they, they just got this This today. is the initial petition. After this, I have to go back and go again. If they don't want to sign, they don't have it. But you already got somebody. Yeah, no problem. So I would assume they're going to continue to sign. Uh, I don't know. When I get their bill, maybe not. I, that I couldn't say. Okay. Uh, one question, approximately 20 year assessment on this. What would it, what would be the yearly tax increase? About 800 bucks. Per year? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Kelly Camasino again. Uh, am I to assume that because it was a, uh, that I was paying less taxes than the people who were getting all these services? Yeah. What services? Well, what? what are we going to get? We're going to get paving and all this. The other streets have paving and. No, no, no. You, you, only your street is, is going to be paved. I understand. At, you're paying for your street. Okay. But the whole development is now private. Is that correct? Okay. Your street will become public if, yes. if it passes and you get the Ex number of exactly. votes. Exactly. But as of now, the whole place is private. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know correct. the answer. Although those streets are all private, yes. Okay. So then when we become, I'm going to be paying more, but the other people will not be paying more in taxes. That's, that's correct. But your road no. will be covered no, by, it. well, it's not correct? No. The tax rate will stay the same. Be it's the betterment. The additional right. betterment. So it's the betterment. I'm sorry. But it will not be right. the taxes. They'll so be paying off their Equally share of the road. road. Right. It's the betterment that would well, add to <coughs> your okay. total it's, tax it's bill. It's still money right. out of my pocket. All yes. right. One more question. If I sell the house before this 12000 or whatever, um, do I have to pay off the balance? If I say it's $800 a year, you assess me. No, if that, I sell carries, that carries with the property, the future owner. Oh, so I don't have to pay it off if no. I move in two years. No. Oh, all right, okay. Is there anything else I should know that I don't know what I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> About this good. or anything else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have that much time. <laughs> I'm an old lady, I'm not gonna last that long. Just about this, this was very distressing to me and uh, I didn't know what, you know, what it entailed. It's it's there, there are two steps left in the process, getting a petition to get it on town meeting warrant and then town meeting voting to approve it. So if there are people who don't want it, you'll have two opportunities to stop it. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Have a vote on that, please. Yes. 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 <clears throat> okay. need to make a motion on this to public hearing. The Board of Selectmen acting as a licensing authority for the Town of Mashby will conduct a public hearing on the 2018 annual liquor and entertainment license. Wait a minute, we, we, do, we, we, need, to, we need to have a motion on that, on the... Um, on the road? Right. I'm sorry. What do we have to do? Do we just have to yeah, we'll just close it? I close it. And we close it. Is that all you need to do? Just close it. Okay. Okay. 
The Board of Selectmen <coughs> acting as the license authority for the Town of Mashby will conduct a public hearing at 2018 annual liquor and entertainment license renewals in the Town of Mashby. Said hearing will be held on Monday, December 18, 2017 at 645 in the Warcoit meeting room, Mashby Town Hall, 16 Great Neck Road North, Mashby Mass, per order of the Mashby Selectmen. Do you want me to finish? Much okay. Yeah. Please be advised that the following Town of Mashby annual liquor license holders have filed their renewal applications. Andy Package Store All Alcohol, Andy's Market, The Barn, Best Buy Beverages, Inc., Liberty Liquors, and South Cape Wine and Spirits. Do we want to vote on that or them all at once? Mr. Chairman, to amend it individually as a group, the small groups. Okay, okay. so someone I needs make to make a motion. We grant package to all all liquor to the five listed. The Andy's the as listed. As listed. Okay. I second. Second. Okay, roll call on that, please. Um, you want to? Uh, do you well, want to do a roll call? Are we doing a public end? hearing? Yes. And then you oh, we got to close. Hearing, we need to close the public vote? hearing. Okay. I make a motion to close the public hearing. Well, do we have any comments from anyone? I don't think so. Is there anyone here? Check. Do public. Yeah. Do we have any any comment from the public on the uh, the issuance of the liquor license? No. Seeing none. Um, we close the public hearing. I second closing the public hearing. All in favor? Yes. 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 Yep. Okay, so okay. we can take a motion. I on make that. the motion that we uh, grant Packer Store all alcohol liquor licenses to those listed. Second. Okay, now we're all called. Yes. 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 Okay. I just right. wanted to make sure that they were all in compliance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Packer Store Wine and Malt, Mashby Mart, Commons Convenience, Mashby Mini Mart, and Organic Market. Okay, need a second on that. Oh. Okay. And again, roll call. Yes. 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 Rest. Make a motion for restaurant all alcohol. Asia, Blue, Bobby Burns, Cafe Trivia, Estia, Finally Dino's, The Lanes, 99 Restaurant, New Seabury Country Club, New Seabury Athletic Club. That's it. Washington Valley Country Club, Sienna, Sopranos, and Wicked. Second. Okay. First and second. Again, the roll call, please. Roll call. Yes. 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 Make a motion for restaurant, wine, and malt. Bangkok Thai Cuisine, Burrito Bristo, Mashby, and Zoe's. Second. And again, a roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for inholders, all alcohol. Papanesset Inn and Zachary's Pub. Second. Second. And roll call. Uh, no on Zachary's, yes on Papanesset. Yes. 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 Motion on Commercial Club, all alcohol. Willow Bend Country Club. Second. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that, that yes was a second. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, this is uh, 2018 so. annual entertainment license renewals. Please be advised that the following town of Mashby annual entertainment license holders have filed their renewal applications. Do we want to do them individually or sep of the whole? Mr. Chairman? I think we can do the whole list. Okay. I have so a question. What do you think? You, do, okay. you don't think so? Huh? He just has we a have, question on the list. That's I all. think we have different um, they got different things. They got different things. Different You're right. Lessons. So let's start with number one. Okay. Blue. Okay. Recorded. Make a motion for blue. Recorded and live. Second. Okay. Roll call. Yes. 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 Motion for Bobby Burns, recorded only. Second. Second. Okay. Roll call. <coughs> yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Motion for Crip Cafe Trivia, recorded only. Second. Roll call. Yes. 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 Estria. Uh, motion for Estria, recorded and live. Second. Uh, before we go, um, Chubby. I'm not sure of the Chubby being one, even though they don't. Um, where are we including the uh, deck licenses if we do have a lot of differences? I don't know. I don't know that either. What are you saying? The deck. I'm talking about the deck licenses. You were going to lump some of them in here if, if we, we want to find them out, such as we've got the rules not after 10 o'clock and all that. Yeah, I don't have the deck licenses. And then do indoor separated. and outdoor seating. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that we do have are the memos that are attached from building and the police that uh, are listed. I assume my assumption was on these that, unless otherwise noted, we're continuing the conditions. Well, that's, that's, that's that what exist. I, that was yeah, my. That's what I'm asking if the motion should be. Well, yes, it should. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get into any slippery slope. The only yeah. other question I have, though, guys, is if, should we have opened a public hearing on this portion of it as well? I. Oh, oh well, it was included in the uh, original. Oh, the no, it said it said um, annual liquor and entertainment licenses. Yeah, on both, it's okay. they're both together. You just wanted clarity. Yes, that's good. <coughs> Why don't we um, remotion this so that there's no so that question. each motion carries with it the proviso that under the same terms and conditions. They're in their current expiring existing two, terms. Current and expiring Ex 2017 license. No change. Carried no over. Changes. No change. That, that makes sense. That's safe. Yep. Second. Okay. That motion. So that's right. a blanket motion for all renewals. Mm -hmm. I I second. All right. Nice to do them individually if you want. Yes. Then. Okay. So that's a new motion. That we have a first, a second. We'll do a roll call on, the, on that motion. Go ahead. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, a motion for finally Dino's recorded in live dancing by patrons, pool tables, and video games. Sorry. Did, well, just a quick question. I don't think we took a roll call on Estia. No, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. We did. John was the only one that didn't vote on Estia. Yes. Hmm. All right. Finally Dino's recorded in live dancing by patrons, pool tables, and video games. <coughs> I second. Yeah, we need a we need a roll call on that. Yes. 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 A motion for the lanes recorded in live dancing by patrons. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 A motion for New Seabury Athletic Club recorded in live dancing exercise by patrons. Second. second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for New Seabury Country Club recorded in live dancing by patrons. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion yes. for 99. Yes. Motion for 99 restaurant. Second. Recorded only. Uh, roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for Quashnant Valley <coughs> Country Club recorded in live dancing by patrons. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for Sienna, recorded only. Second. <laughs> Roll call. Yes. 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 Motion for Sopranos, recorded in live. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for Wicked, recorded only. Second. Roll call. Yes. 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 Motion for Papanessa in, recorded in live, dancing by patrons. Second. And roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion yes. for Zachary's Pub, recorded and live, dancing by patrons, theater and floor show, billiard, pool, table, and video games. Second. Second. Uh, roll call, please. No. Yes. 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 Motion for Willowbed Country Club, recorded and live, dancing by patrons. Second. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for Burritos Bistro, yes. recorded only. Second. And roll call, please. Yes. 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 Motion for Zoe's, recorded only. Second. And roll call, please. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. The Board of Selectmen acting as the license authority for the town of Mashby will conduct a public hearing on the request of New Seabury Properties LLC doing business as New Seabury Country Club for close for deep cleaning and maintenance as follows. Restaurant, effective January 2nd, 2018 through March 22nd, 2018. Initially reopening on Fridays and Saturdays only. Snack bar, affected January 4th, 2018 through March 22nd, 2018. Initially reopened weekends only, weather permitting. Said hearing will be held in the Warcoit meeting room at Mashpee Town Hall on Monday, December 18th, 2017 at 6.50. Per order of the Mashpee Board of Selectmen. Okay, um, any comment? No. Do we have anyone here? Mr. Kaz, yes. 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 would you like to come up and introduce yourself to the uh, board? Good evening. Thank you for the opportunity. My name is Chris Card. I'm the president of New Seabury. This is our standard procedure as we go into our winter months to deep clean the operation, prepare for the season. That's good. Did you, how did the, the law work out with the second floor this, this past uh, summer? Did it do pretty well? I know you weren't there, so. Uh, you know, I've been on, in the row less than a month, but I believe it was successful, <laughs> and uh, happy to report next fall after the season closes how well it did. Good, yeah. good, great, thank you. Thank you. Good answer. I have a question. Um, so the premise behind all alcoholic beverage licenses for the annuals is the, the 12 month a year operations. Um, that's been the practice in right. town. And yet annually, we have this lengthy closing that corresponds with the slow time. It doesn't strike me that you're cleaning the whole time because you're open during weekends when it's advantageous to be open at the beginning of the season and not. So it <coughs> just, uh, you know, kind of bugs me. Every year we go through this little dog and pony charade in my mind that we're giving you a year round license and you're the only one of our year round licensees who closes routinely for the same period of time every year. Just doesn't really strike me as a straight face compliance with the license agreement. Certainly something we can look into. Like I said, I've been on the roll for less than a month, so we can certainly investigate and come back with more information if you'd like. I just um, just put my flag on the ground that this bugs me every year. Well, good point. I don't think you realize. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking you for an answer. I'm just, I know you knew, um, but I just. Just throwing it out next there. Next year, I'll Thanks. go along with it this year. Next year, I'd like some reason to, change, to feel better about it. We'll work on that. More, more real year, uh, year <laughs> round and just a uh, brief period of uh, uh, clean up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the place has to be really dirty to take three months. <laughs> well, you know, it never bothered me too much, except all of a sudden it went from the closing down, which, and a lot of cleaning, a lot of remodels are done, but all of a sudden there opening up every week to this party or that party. Yeah. You're either it's open a business or decision. This is a business decision, not a claim decision. <laughs> so let's be honest about it. Good point. Good point. Anybody? Thank you. Thank you. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Second. Yeah, roll call on the, on the uh, closing. Yes. 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 <laughs> make a motion to approve the request. Second. And roll phone maps. Yes. 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 This year. <laughs> this year. <laughs> this year. The Board of Selectmen <laughs> acting as a licensed authority for the town of Mashpee will conduct a public hearing on the crest of New Seabury Properties LLC doing business as Pop and Acid Inn to close for deep cleaning and maintenance effective January 1st, 2018 through March 23rd. Initially reopening for functions only in April and a la carte service in May. Said hearing to be held in the Warpoint meeting room at Mashpee Town Hall on Monday, December 18th, 6.55 p.m. per order of the Mashpee Selectman. Enough said. <laughs> I made my point. <laughs> 
so can I? <laughs> I make a motion to grant the. Uh, close the public, public hearing. Close the public hearing. I, 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 I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. <laughs> Roll call to close. Yes. 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 I make a motion to grant the request. Second. And we'll call on that. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, Mr. Chairman, you're on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where are we now? <laughs> Communication. Communications um, correspondence. Are we? Mm-hmm. Yep. We have the uh, water district, uh, Mashpee Water District response to uh, the request for an in environmental overnight, over, oversight uh, committee's designee. Um, They've decided to decline the invitation. You. Do we have any explanation for this? Yeah. I mean, come on. How's this make you feel about your grand plan now? <laughs> <laughs> no comments. <laughs> so what do you what is Sam was <laughs> Sam was ready too. <laughs> well, Sam's always ready. <laughs> I, no, no, other than uh, just yeah, that's it. We don't even have to yeah. do anything. Yeah. All right. So, so just so, so the that's a good uh, one. Huh? So just, I warned you. so just read the, uh, read I'm, the I'm gonna read this read into the, the racket into the just so you yes. just so you know still the, two this, words. Mm -hmm. the um <laughs> <laughs> the board of selectmen had asked to um, have a uh, an individual water commission invited to participate in the environmental oversight commit, uh, committee the response was um, um, that the, the board of water commissioners in response to your letter yeah, November yeah. 17th November 7th, 2017, requesting the appointment of a representative from the Mashpee Water District to the Environmental Oversight Committee, have decided to decline the selectman's invitation at this time. So, um, yeah, why would you call water supplier be concerned about environmental quality? <coughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to have a uh, participant. Yeah. General contractor. Right? Okay, we have new business. We have the approval of a general contractor for the uh, Quashner School project. Um, I know we have a representative here. Um, Catherine's here in the city. Catherine's. Catherine, do uh, you want to come up and uh, bring us up to date? We have all the information, and maybe you can give us a little bit more information. I will try, and I have uh, our owner's project manager here with me as well, and a representative from the school committee um, is in the audience. Uh, so we did receive um, bids for the general contract for the Washington School Project. Um, we received eight bids. Um, they ranged um, from just under $7 million to just over $8 million. Um, uh, check of the uh, references, the DCAM certification, um, bid documents for the apparent low bidder, JJ Cardozi was completed by the OPM and uh, design team, and they found um, Cardozi to be very qualified. Uh, their DCAM rating on 29 projects was 93 out of a possible 100 points, and uh, their references were all uh, very favorable. Um, so in your packets you have um, the recommendation from um, both CIVA and uh, Raymond Design Associates Planning and Construction Committee met on this past Friday. They uh, voted to recommend award of the contract. Um, the contract did come in less than estimated. I do have a breakdown of the budget that CIVA had prepared earlier. Something came in less. I, I st <laughs> I'm still. It came less. So, um, and I'll, I'll let Siva explain um, the chart that the, the, the column to the far right is the uh, updated um, portion of the budget. Um, I also just have for your reference um, a handout. Is there not? Yes, they are.
steps along the way. Uh, we were before the board back in September for approval of um, procurement through for a construction manager at risk. That was approved by the board. We started the process, um, advertised the RFQ. Unfortunately, we only received two responses and um, we're required by state statute to have a minimum of three. So we had to um, reach out to those responses and, and revert back to the conventional um, bidding process. Um, the bid was advertised at the end of October. Um, filed sub-bids were received November 14th. Um, one of the filed sub-bids, we only received a single um, bid, um, and that bid excluded a particular contractor from using them. Um, on the advice of counsel, we rejected that bid. Um, a bid protest was filed with the Attorney General's office by that contractor, HVAC contractor, um, and the Attorney General ended up um, siding with the um, sub-bidder. So um, because of that, we did have to delay the federal bids to this past Tuesday, uh, the 12th. Um, and those were the bids that were received. Um, that ended up in about a, a one week delay of, of when we originally had anticipated a contract award. Um, the good news is we still, if we flip on the, the second page, the schedule for the CMR did anticipate the awarding of the sub bids under that process at this same meeting. So really we're still within the time frame that we had hoped for um, starting construction, you know, sometime in April to take advantage of the April vacation. So that is still what we are anticipating at this point. And then I'll have Siva come up and kind of quickly go over the budget. Good evening, uh, this is Siva Logan again. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, in this chart that you have before, the blue column is the, um, it's the agreement that town has with the MSBA based on our initial estimate. So this is what the agreement states, based on a total project cost of 10.47 million, the MSBA was going to reimburse 3.78 million, and the town's share was a little under 7 million. So that's what the agreement states. And again, this is based on the schematic design estimates that we did back in spring, in the spring uh, in 17. Based on the current hard bid that we got, we received last week, and based on the reallocation of what, what is excluded, a rough draft of what is excluded, the total project cost is 8.27 million. This is just the first column to the right of the blue column. The MSBA is going to reimburse us 2.9 million against this number, and the town's share is going to be a little less than 5.4 million. What made the current estimate come down? Uh, just to give you, in the package that uh, Catherine and the yes. town manager distributed, we received eight bids. The first four bids, the lowest four bids, mm -hmm. were approximately $40,000 off. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a very aggressive bid, and I believe the market timing was just the right time. We hit them, I think, when we tracked the GC bids that were going on, there were only two other schools that bid the project between October and December in the similar market. Mm -hmm. So I think we hit the market at the sweet spot and we, so we have four low bidders and of the four low bidders, when we did a quick check, number the lowest, the third lowest, who is uh, GNR Construction, 
and the fourth lowest, who's Greenberg, they're all competent and qualified to do the work. Could this number change? Uh, no, it won't it uh, will stay, stay could the you, same. Yeah. Could you give me the total number of indebtedness between the state and the, the bottom line number? It's the first column to the right of the blue column, now, what, which is, is 8.27 million. 8.27 million, right. and this is, this is what we're liable for. No. Yeah, uh, no, not. No. No. no, I know. With the On two, paper two, now. Wait a minute. This figure doesn't go any higher. Is there a way this could go higher? Change orders. Change orders, correct. Yeah, unforeseen conditions. If the, 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 the 8.27 also includes. A, lit, a contingency amount of 475,000. That's the number just above the 8.27. So this is the, the MSBA. 475 is included in this 8.27, correct. right? That's what MSBA will participate in sharing should there be change orders. Okay, this, the reason I'm asking this question, this, these numbers have been all over the ballpark since day one. I can remember the <coughs> we were talking a million point one or something like that. And every time it turned around, <coughs> the, last, the last go around was is uh, we were told that the only way to go is at risk. Uh, now we're back to the contractor thing. So I just want to know, next time you come in, it's, this is the number I can pretty well put my head on. 8.27 is what we're at, right? That's Yes, given all the information we have today, that's the upset limit that we are seeking approval. So, I was a little confused by the cover memo. You know, the, their construction bid six million nine ninety four. Yes. Right. Yes. And you say it's exclusive of soft costs, the project design, project management, etc. So, based on what you've just told us today, that's roughly one point two five million in soft costs. On top of that, correct. So it's a difference between the six nine. Six nine nine four and the eight, uh, eight, eight two seventy. Yes, but also includes four hundred and seventy five thousand in contingency. So if everything goes great. You won't spend the four seventy five. But that's so. What was hard? What was impossible to tell from the package we got in advance was what the total project cost was going to be. All you gave us was the construction cost and said there was some excluded costs, but they were unclear. So it's one point two five on top. Yes, okay. right. The soft cost, so, right. Yeah. But that, it was nowhere in here, was right. it? Right. Right. The package right. we got, I, I was totally Couldn't tell. confused. Right. 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 We all saw the same thing, right? There were right. no numbers, but it had a soft cost. Right. But, you know, so your number, initial so estimate was right. is. Your initial estimate was closer to 10. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. Okay, that had the same contingency. Understood. And yep. Yes. Apples to apples. Yep. We were yes. looking at, when we went into this account meeting, we were looking at 10, and now we're looking at 8. Eight yes, sir. Yep. In, in the, from what I can remember, the last time we had this conversation, I thought we were going to be somewhere between five and six million anyway, and Our that's share. where we are with the, with the uh, better share. bid. Our, Our share. share. Yes. Yeah. yes. So, and that's just where we. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the the timing helped because that's the range was from six point nine nine four <clears> million <throat> to a little more than eight million. So that's a million bucks. Just within that range. Mm -hmm. So I assume you're high. You came in higher because you were estimating based on the, other the more competitive yeah. or the more contractor-friendly bidding environment back in the summer. Yes. And that kind of changed. Thankfully. The last yeah. question: What does this do to our timing? It's uh, we we were off by a week because of the bid protest, but we were planning to hit this board of selectmen meeting. For well, your, I don't mean that. I mean when you get into the building, the school. We are shooting to get. We are still on track. We've talked to the windows manufacturer. We are thankful that we got a good windows subcontractor who is a file submit. So we've like we've already begun discussions with them, and we are still on track to start window replacement come the spring break. So we've worked with the school. We've got a good facing plan for the windows. Windows are the most critical item for the building. Yeah, so I, we are still on track. I'm, I'm concerned about the construction taking place during school time. We've had extensive discussions mm -hmm. with the school principal. Have, and that's why I'm asking you, you're still 
able to uh, meet the timelines you came up with? We have to start installation come spring break, and we will go towards Thanksgiving or this time next year to wrap everything up. And that's the extent of the amount of work. Was the bid, sub bid protester part of this winning package? Uh, part of the, sorry, I didn't understand. The, the, the guy who, who appealed your, your bid. Your rejection, is he part of this, the team for Cardozzi? Yes, yes. Is that yeah. going to be a problem? No, his portion is only $375,000. What is it? It's all for the mechanical, removing the rooftop units, putting them back, all of the windows where I had the heat units. It's the, the HVAC. Units. HVAC. HVAC, correct. So it's yeah. ex uh, quasi, somewhat external for the construction process. It's Yes, we okay. can. Uh, and uh, I think the town council or oh, in my opinion, the town council was right in rejecting it was, we, we didn't have a bid protest from the only GC that was include, excluded because he can't, he can't bid this project because he doesn't have a file submit for the HVAC. So that's the reason why the town council asked us to reject the bid, which is why statute, <coughs> I think the right decision, but the AG thought otherwise. <laughs> was this contractor in multiple bids? No. no. It was only sold, yeah. Just for that subcontract? Yes. It's me, it's me, yeah. yeah it, but he was only with Cardozi? No, no he said um, no. Sorry. They, they all had the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you they kicked all. him out on another bid for another GC? Yes. No, the, he's. Apex was the HVAC file submit. Apex stated that their bid could not be used by company ABC. I forget the name. So, so what that means is that company ABC yeah. could not bid the GC portion of it only because he didn't have an HVAC file submit. So was your problem with the subcontractor or the contractor? No, the, we followed the law. We followed the statute, the requirement, and he protested it, but the AG's office thought otherwise and said, no, this is okay, it can go. Who protested it? The file submit. Okay. Why does but, he care if he was, on the, he was on the low bid? But we rejected the thing outright because he said company ABC cannot use them. For their bid. It's the, the file subbids are, are um, reviewed first, and then the GC usually picks, you know, which <coughs> subbid they want to work with. Um, because there was only one HVAC, he was it. He was the only person that all of the GCs can use. Yeah. Um, except, as Siva said, he said, all of you can use me except you. And the you was who? Was a, a I don't remember I, I the name of the, 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 the I guess what I'm trying to get to is, is there a problem with this man, with this construction team uh, no. associated with this bid file? I, no. I'm getting, I, I'm I, getting this. I'm, I'm guessing that at one time along the way, he wasn't paid by this general. Was, I would say that's, exactly. what that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. particular GC that was excluded, yes. Yeah. Okay, that's all we had to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that GC did not indicate, like he did pick up the documents, but he did, didn't, he hasn't he's, a, he's, a, he's a good subcontractor. <laughs> he didn't want to work for the other general. That's all. That's, Got it. That's, that's what it is. Great. Great. Well, the numbers are where we wanted it to be. That's the good thing. So, what are you asking for tonight? The word of the contract? For approval. Yes. 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 Right. I'd make a motion we approve the selection of J.J. Cardozzi, Inc. of East Providence to be the general contractor for the Quashan School Roof in the amount. Uh, to exceed six million nine hundred ninety-four thousand dollars. Second. Any further discussion on that? Seeing none. Roll call, please. Yes. 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 Okay. I just have one more thing. Go ahead. To add to what you questioned regarding uh, the total cost, I was previously told specifically that uh, this contingency of four seventy-five is. A definite comfort zone, so we should be fine. 
friendly changes to four seventy five. That, that's what I'm saying. Right. Okay. They did a good Within. survey on this. I can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I was just concerned. Numbers have been floating back and forth. <laughs> well, I, this it's been millions going up and down. Go up. A million quarter and down a million. No, I'm very happy with it. Well, he, down, but that doesn't mean a they can't. And a half now, someone marches in and says, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But they've done enough study on this building. They should have all of the problems analyzed and know where they are. Yeah. Great. Thank Thanks, Eva. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Question school. Okay, here we go on the big one. The big one? Number two. Update on oh Cape God. Tech High School. All right. The one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have an update on the Cape Cod Technical High School project bonding process. Mr. Craig Mayhem. Good evening. Um, <clears throat> so, myself and the assistant town accountant, um, Lisa Fry, attended a meeting on November 16th at the Cape Tech um, with the 11 other towns in the consortium. Um, the Cape Tech anticipates a bond rating of double A. Um, when they go to issue. Um, the assessment for the town of Mashpee and every other town is gonna be based on um, the enrollment in the school. And uh, there was discussion at the meeting about possibly doing like a, um, a three-year average enrollment for the capital portion of the assessment so that it doesn't spike one way or the other quickly, um, you know, based on enrollment, based on that year. Um, the only thing with that, <laughs> is they would have to open up the agreement so they're a little hesitant on doing that but that'll be you know it, all of what i'm di discussing is the preliminary meeting and you know it's all gonna it's not gonna change it's gonna change a little bit but it's open for more discussion um so the seven t basically the seven towns that were in uh had the most skin in the game per se uh we're going to be making the decision because the other four towns said, you know what, it, it's such a small amount, this apportionment, that it doesn't matter. We can do it inside the levy. We can do it outside the levy. You guys decide how you want to do it. And Mashpee was one of those seven towns. Um, so they deferred to us to determine the financing options. Um, I put in your packages a schedule um, <coughs> of s s uh, nine different options as to how they were done. The first one is the best one I'll reference to that. So basically, Cape Tech is gonna take $75 million is what they anticipate in their large bonding. Um, and they had the option of 30 years, 25 years, or 20 years of financing it over. Um, is there a debt schedule you're referring to? Yes. I had. Mm, we didn't. Nope. We didn't either. Back. I don't have it. No. no. All we have is the print. I don't either. All we have is the memo. Apologize. I thought that was in the package. Did you get one of the yours? No. no, we just okay. put the look on. Okay. Step one, step. Okay. Um, so <coughs> the first page, it basically 30 year, 25 and 20 year. I apologize. I couldn't get clean um, debt schedules on the front so it's all got our uh, our chicken scratch on it so under each option um, option one was taking 75 million dollars initially at the very beginning um, in February of 2018 and the first payment would be um, November 2018 which is in fiscal year 19 option two for every single one of these options was taking seven million dollar ban in February of 2018 and then um, going for a bond of $75 million. Um, what are you paying on the bands for these? Excuse me? What's the interest rate on the bands? Depends on the size and the value. I would say probably 2% thereabouts. Um, and so. So the school building authority doesn't provide bands like the Clean Water Trust? No. The water Trust, you can ban it almost zero. Yeah, no, the state doesn't do that. They'd be we going do on the water side. I know, but not on the school side. Um, so then they would they would uh, bond it permanently in uh, November of 2019, thereby being our first payment in February of 2000 or uh, fiscal year 2020. Um, and then option three was to take seven million dollar ban and a 40 million dollar ban and 
do it in February of um, 2018, 2019, um, a permit bond, and then our first payment will be in fiscal 2021. And what's the amount of the first payment? The amounts of the first payment are about, well, I'll, I'll get to that. Can I? Um, so basically most everyone decided the 30 year was out because they didn't want to pay more interest mm -hmm. um, than they needed to be. Option one, I think was, option one was kind of out because I mentioned that some towns haven't uh, gotten it as a, a debt exclusion yet. So to budget for fiscal 19 payment when we don't know if it's going to be a debt exclusion or not would be very troublesome on a lot of the towns. Um, so most of the towns agreed that option two for the 20 year and 25 year was a, was the best option. Um, the so and the you can see on the top it says six and nine on the bottom are pages six and they're labeled six and nine and those have the debt schedules associated with so mm -hmm. it's four hundred thousand for a um, basically four hundred thousand dollars a a year for a 25 year bond and four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year for um, a 20 year bond and you can see that they calculated so the six, yeah. nine, six and nine at the top of these yeah. handwritten in right yes so yep. one's 20 year and 25 year ammo right. so you're looking at for a 25 year you're looking at eight cents on a per thousand and for a 20 year you're looking at nine cents per thousand um so that's where it sits um they're also going to have after the 75 million dollars is done they said basically they'd have a seven million dollar bond again um to basically for wrapping up their costs is what they anticipated, which would probably be about another $600,000 to the town of Mashpee oh. base principal. Um, it's a lot of money. Um, so that's, I would, you know, if, if the, I wrote, I would recommend that if we go with a 20 year term um, on option two, if the debt schedule passes the ballot box. Um, what's the, uh, what's the timing if you need to have an answer on this? There's going to be another meeting in late spring, early summer. Um, I don't want to decide on this. I, I mean, I, right. No, you can't get it dropped on your lap tonight. Right. No, no, there's, there's, it's That's going to be. That's not his fault. No, no, I'm not no. saying it is. I just, I'm not. I, no, I'm just providing much. Yeah, I just want to run. clear it's not his fault. No, I stand. Mm -hmm. no. Um, yeah, so there'll be, there'll be another meeting late spring, early summer, so that they can look at, okay, what's the interest rate market so this done? this will really go in October town meeting. No, no, no. You already voted. But the debt exclusion. The debt exclusion. The debt exclusion. The exclusion would be this. Should be this spring. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Correct. We should just decide what, what we're doing. I mean, I don't know why we're fussing around waiting. Yeah. To make a decision on that. You know, we voted to support this thing as a board without any finance plan. Right. So you got to go for a debt exclusion. Oh, we need a debt exclusion. Mm. Yeah. Was there any conversation of a shorter term, a term less than twenty? There wasn't, but there wasn't. There wasn't objection to it either. Um, I think the biggest issue with some of the people was just, okay, how much, um, how much can tax taxpayers burden? A little late right. for that. People voted to mm -hmm. pay the project. Seventy-five, twenty-five. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. So, right. We can bring it up. We certainly can. We're the the biggest if thing you is. You wanted that much. Why why soak ourselves for twenty years on extra interest then? I'd just be interested in seeing what a short, if you can summarily dismiss a 30 year because you pay too much interest, I'd be interested in what a shorter term duration would be on this. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Do you have to come to the consensus with the committee as all, or does each town make their own? The, whatever the majority of the towns choose to do yeah. is by what we're By town weighted town. vote pursuant to the- Nope, by town. By town. By town. Um, I did ask for a 25-year level principal payment, um, thereby cutting the interest down. And I could ask them again for a 20-year level principal payment that would cut the interest. It wouldn't be even amount of payments. It would be, you know, it would be gradually. How do you deal down. with, if we do a debt exclusion, how do you deal with variation year to year in um, our assessment? Is that going to, if it goes up because we have more kids, does that mean it's going to kick over to the general operating mm -hmm. revenue? Mm -hmm. no. What if we 
but you're going to do a debt exclusion up to an amount, right? That this amount is set on a pro. No, we're not going to do an amount. We're going to what are we going to do? What's what's the plan? There's. This is a little different in that with the question school, we went for, for town meeting first and then the debt exclusion at the ballot box. This is just going to be the, the ballot box. This isn't going to be through town meeting. So you're not going to be able to, really, we're not going to be able to answer what our total cost is going to be because we don't know what our share of the student body is going to be over the life of the debt. Yeah, that will change for everybody. It's all last no, time. I know. So, you know, typical questions be, oh, how much is it? And what's it going to cost me mm -hmm. annually? I mean, typically, <coughs> you know, we try to boil things down that it's going to cost you X dollars per year, and we don't have a clue. Well, no, I ran I ran some numbers based on what report historical. The, well, based on what um, we have here on on the uh, amortization schedules, and for a three hundred thousand dollar house, you're looking at nine cents um, per thousand, which is twenty seven dollars per year, based um, on current enrollment. Based on current enrollment, which is a percentage so the of changes, because remember, correct, they're going to be drawing all yeah. sorts of kids in because they're building have, a bigger school. Yeah. So have who knows what our share of that have, new student body is going to be? Have we correct. any idea what the formula is? Is up or down? What do you mean? On enrollment, what our costs up and down is on the enrollment. It's, it's thirty-two thousand dollars, like thirty-five thousand dollars a kid. Ten oh. of which is on your gen, your operating side. Twenty of 25 of which is on your operating side, 10 of which is on your debt side. Yeah, the debt under side current. is what I'm talking about. Right now, it, you know. When it goes up or down? And you don't have a bid yet. Correct. So, before you get locked in on any numbers, you don't have any, you got nothing to base this on. You know, so how many kids, you don't know how many kids are going to school, you don't know how many of them are ours, and you don't know the construction costs, and you don't know the term of the financing. Other than that, you have all the information you need to make decisions. <laughs> right. right. We had a time meeting and voted it in. Yeah. That's right. Right, with no plan. With no plan. Right. <clears throat> now, and I know this, it probably come up along the way, but um, there's no there's no maximum for the town of Mashpee as far as the uh, students, number of students. Don't they regulate no, it per no, town? No. 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 And they're going to promote more. I know they are. Well, but that's from all towns as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not going to be just the town of Mashpee. No, Bay. I understand. Enrollment's probably going to increase. You got a brand new school. Right. But it's only 650 enticing. students total, I believe. Wasn't that the amount? Yeah, yeah. that's right. What the new 650 building. students the, total. The town, the town that was most worried was Yarmouth, um, because yeah, they're because at. Yeah, they're right there. Well, no, they're historically low. They're at historically low enrollment right now. Um, so they're a little. They're very worried that they're going to. They're going to see the regional school district. Right. They have especially a, a, they have a terrible new, arrangement with Dennis. Especially a brand new high school that's going to be magnificent. Yep. That's enrollment will be out. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we got to figure a way. So, it's, you know, yeah, it's a little late in the doesn't game. Doesn't matter. That's right. You got to figure out a way to go, move forward. So you're not engaging with them again in a group setting until spring. No, not okay. not planning on it. But I just want to bring you the. No, it's useful. I'd like to see the schedule. Yeah. Um, but it, as I'm looking at it over the years, it goes down roughly 25 per, uh, a quarter of a percent uh, for the five year over a five year period. You went from 20, 30, 35 to 25 to uh, was it 30? 20 to 25. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Drop yeah. it down. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it just depends There's how much. between their rating and ours. We're triple, right? We're triple A. So what's that translating to, you know, for a given amount? Probably about 15 percent. basis points. Huh? Probably about 15 basis points. And why are they not better? Hmm? Why are they not better? They've got this cloth through back to us. <laughs> what's the, I mean, why do they have a crappy rating? Because they go based on the, all of the towns in, that are in the consortium. So and we, did we are one of the best. Probably a wild idea, but can we uh, pay them one lump sum? I asked that same question. No, we can't. That, that, that yeah, I asked. trust me. I had that idea. That was asked. Yeah, and no, no. Uh, Why? 
because it helps that the interest rate we buy it at, because we i can't i can't borrow it's it's bond. it's done every year every year that assessment and i can't borrow based on an assessment i have to borrow based on a project and a right. bonding in that respect hmm. i i tried trust me i yeah. tried mm. let me save some money mm. if there's someone who's going to try and save you interest costs is my wife can attest to it. <laughs> Do we pay it? Be be a year ahead? Nope. nope. So whatever we agree to, it has to be. The agreement has to be the same terms for all the towns. Yeah, whatever the you know, if if they all decide, you know what, we're going to do thirty years option three. So we'll all have to we're all stuck with thirty oh. years option three. But there was a lot of a lot of appetite for twenty years option two. That was what years. they. Were. Seems that was what the be, appetite uh, seemed to be for. I thought you would be closing up to the fourth uh, free rider towns that don't care. <laughs> Make a block of five votes. <laughs> <laughs> Send them a Starbucks card. <laughs> Seriously. From yeah, Mashable. You're right. Yeah. Any other questions? Not Maybe right now. Maybe the first time it's been done. No. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> we'll get you some coffee. Wearing his. No, just. That's not a nice Christmas present. Mm -hmm. Nice so shot. Well. We know what you're getting. <laughs> well, we did, but we didn't. Right. I exactly. Think, I don't agree. I don't think anyone realized. I don't think they realized the cost. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, you mean the general public? Yeah. We did. We knew it was going to be a lot. All right. We have a uh, an approval. Um, uh, Make a motion. We request for the waive uh, the tent wait. permit fee for homeless for the holidays. Second. Firefighters. Okay. First and second. A roll call, please. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, Appointment of the oversight committee. Oh, hey, the schools could put somebody on the environmental oversight There you the go. The approval of the environmental oversight committee. If the water district couldn't. Yep, so we have the approval and the appointment of the environmental oversight and committee. And motion we appoint Mr. Tom Hoffinstead as the school designee for the environmental oversight Second. committee. Okay, I had a roll call on that one. Yes. Too. Yes. 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 Um, we have again approval of the appointment of the environmental oversight committee. Ashley Fisher. Member, Ashley at Fisher. Member, at member at large. Member at large, right? Okay. Second. Okay, roll call. Yes. 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 And uh, we need to look at a review and approval of a revised liquor license fee sh schedule. And um, I think this basically came up, uh, they took a look at it. Um, I, I know at one point it started at the, uh, oh, what's the new place over at the old um, Flume restaurant? Yeah, Nakamo, mm -hmm. right. Um, and there were some questions, and when that came up, it's, it kind of looked at um, all of the different issues um, and the changes, so this was recommended. Um, so two t different types of uh, licenses have been added. One is a license to sell wine at a farmer's market and to a farmer's series pouring permit. Hmm. Why? I know, why? The ABC is in it's the license new category. Category. Okay. Yeah. And the new fees proposed. And how do we come up with that 1300 bucks, given the wide range? 3500 in Barnstable, oh. 200 in Troy. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, 3000 in Barnstable. How do we land at 1350 Wow. Huh? Three thousand. Excuse me, three thousand fifty. We're rounding off. <laughs> Jeez. We're being loose with numbers today. So. <laughs> <clears throat> and I think it was the, that's the pouring fee, right? That's, that's the, the uh, yeah. yeah. They, was that just like an average they picked, or as far as a recommendation? There, there were others that were lower than the uh, box. So I remember that, and um, uh, Christine had pulled up a lot of them on online. And I think it was uh, in Not more in, shock factor. Yeah, it was more in moderate than the uh, um, Hyannis uh, Bonsville numbers. Hmm. Where were your Falmouth numbers? Uh, Bonsville looks I think she really did have high. Too, was well, these are the numbers we should have gotten. Yeah, so just to look at them and rather than have them thrown out.
So these yeah. these are initial rates, though, right? We've never, never put, we never ha we didn't have Just this out there the, before. Right. No, wait. If you look at page, there's 2018, there's 2017. If you do this, you right. can kind of tell. Oh, the there difference. we go. Yeah, you can see. Sort of, because there's some new lines added, so it doesn't work that well. Um, but the one that jumped out is, you know, annual package store went from 1,300 to 2,000. I, uh, I'm oh, confused. I why would I just don't, yeah, I don't know why. 217 two and 218 two. on this okay. are all the same. Retail we went down in some. Annual two. Retail. Seasonal. Oh, yeah, the lines don't line up. The lines don't line oh, up, oh, so you I can't do it that the way. Lines don't line, but, no. but it's hard to compare. Yeah, it is. So I'm not really entirely sure what we're changing. So Carmen Victor's license is thirteen hundred dollars. It says, right? Right. Right. And, and that's the way it was and, before. And it's staying there. Yeah. Correct. I yep. Was the first thing they were just adding was two licenses. Yeah, but the retail annual went up seven hundred bucks. The retail annual. Retail. And it should have a couple of new ones. I have. No, I have thirteen hundred on the retail annual, don't I? No, retail annual is two. Two thousand. Last year, and this retail, package. Two, oh, retail package. Retail package. Retail oh, package is yeah, two thousand. Okay. I know we haven't gone up in years. Do you want a comparison to? Yeah, last year we did this. We well, did I think reorganize we it and get it to be um, all consistent with with everything. Yeah, with I know, it. but I and think. Then we added these two change in the, well, I wasn't here last week to right. review it. So it might have been. It looks to me like there's some change. There's no basis for the change. I'm not necessarily object to it, but. I, I thought that she only, we talked about it when Christine was, was the two, and that was that poor license, the, the farmer's poor license. Poor, foreign yeah. license. And the farmer's market. Right. You want right. to come? Well, it's, it's, I'd like. Be a nice comparison. Compare, it, it, not only farmer sandwich, uh, you know. Born. Uh, yeah, just to see, make sure that we're not totally uh, out of it, out right. of line with the uh, surrounding towns. Right. Those are the only two that we had talked about. That they sound right to me. I think there's only, and this one you threw at me. I'm not sure, but I thought there was only going to be two changes on the whole. That's what I thought. Yeah. But you threw them, and I'm not sure. Yeah. Them, so I can check it. I mean, I just like to know why. Annual package. Yeah. Yeah. The poor license is new because it's a farm. It's totally yeah. different. Right. <clears throat> that one's there. We had that conversation. So, I mean, the most useful format would be so 18 proposed, 17 actuals yeah. next to one another, and if there's a difference, why? Yeah. yeah. And if it's new, then it's new. And then why it was picked at the level it was picked at. Yeah. You know, if the answer is we want to be in the middle of the pack, that's fine. That's what we generally want. I don't know. Right. I, yes. know. I don't know. On the poor license, I think that's exactly what it, where we went. I just want to make sure that that's where we're at. Right. Yeah, but that, those so are So can this wait till the next, till 1st of I January? I don't see why. It goes into I mean, it's, next year, though. Yeah. It, but I first, don't mind letting them through now. But, uh, it's, right. it's, it's our first, uh, our first meeting's what, January 8th? When are we putting out the fees for billing people for and when? Well, you're signing the license. Tonight. It's for next year, so it's kind of. Well, if we just look at it for another minute, we just decipher if there was any other discrepancies here. Yeah, the, the, the only, and it can be done next year, too. I, I just would hate to see us getting totally out of line with some of it, but if these are last year's licenses, I don't, I didn't hear of any complaints. <coughs> Did anyone else? A lot of them are looking at their driving. They are the driving. Yeah. It looks like I'm the checking same. now. But Andy, you did catch one that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it affects five license holders. And they will bitch at you if there's a reason to. The annual retail. We did five of them, I thought. Annual retail. Pack that's retail package. 
right? That's, yeah. that's the one. And one, two, three. Okay, I'll check on it for you. I mean, I'm, you know, if you want to move them ahead, then you can, you can refund them. You're not going to raise them. Uh, I make a motion to take the uh, recommendation. Because we're going to follow everyone up January 1st when they come up their checks for all these. That's fine. I second. Okay, that makes sense yes. with this roll call. Okay, we have a first and a second on it to, uh, to move this as opposed to as written. Um, a roll call on it. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. <coughs> Okay. Do you need a motion on, on the, the Mantel, uh, Mantel Monmouthcourt? Yeah. Right. Is there a motion written? Yeah, I think we just have to. Yeah. On December 18th, before I'm just signing the November. I make a motion we uh, approve the purchase of the Mantel property. Transfer the deed to the right there. I make a vote. First, let me make a motion that we include this uh, on, the the agenda. Um, on the agenda. Second. Additional topics. Came in, topic. came in after yeah. notice of time. Yeah. All right. Right. This is a first, a second. I make a motion we include it under the emergency provisions as advised by town council. As advised right. by town council. Second. Right. Okay. Uh, roll call. Yes. 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 Okay, I make a motion to um, accept the deed of 271 Muscoy Road. Second. Okay, um, do we need to list the uh, map possible? Uh, no. Uh, just the, uh, okay. Uh, roll call? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Um, that concludes everything on the agenda. Do we have any liaison reports? No. I do. Unfortunately, as everybody knows, we did not have our Mashpee Chamber Christmas Parade because of safety reasons, unfortunately. And we did not, and it's the first time we've ever canceled, and we've never thought about having a rain date. So next year we will the chamber will have a rain day, uh, which will be the following day, most likely. Yeah, gotta be. And That's just the day before. <laughs> <laughs> and second. <laughs> Good, you can kick them. <laughs> and, and second, I would like to congratulate our Mashpee Falcons on another great year. Not just the, our Mashpee Falcons should be congratulated, but the coaches and the parents of the students that backed these children up. They did an awesome job again. And the outpouring of, um, of support of support at the, at the game was amazing. Don't forget the cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> and of course They're, it's the all part of the Mashpee it was It was a great team effort across it the board. Absolutely. Mashpee residents, team, coaching staff. Everybody. And students. Everybody. Well done. Congratulations. Yes. Three time Super Bowl champs. I don't know if that's ever happened before. Well, very good. We're making history. Certainly, yeah. Small town of Mashpee. Pretty cool. Oh, and December 29th on um, Fox News on Firehouse Friday, they will be um, outlining our Mashpee Fire Department. Right, and that's on that automatic resuscitation yes. that we had that presentation yep. uh, not that long ago. So uh, good stuff. Are we doing the licenses? The auto licenses? Yeah. So. Anybody else? Nope. Liaisons have been quiet. I don't know if I want to get into the assembly. So uh, <laughs> maybe after the first of the year. There we go. Wait. Let's wait. Mm -hmm. Should I make a motion to adjourn? I'm just, I'm just wondering why we, I don't have anything on the agenda. Uh, we're expiring before our next meeting, so do you want to add these to the agenda for renewal? Or? 
They weren't, it wasn't. Uh, they're, they're right, they're we're going to have to put it, to make a motion to add, add it to the agenda. Well, they're going to have to be. Because uh, it's not next meeting. They expire first day, December. So, mm. so it's just like, it's car dealers? Is that what you said? Yeah. Limousines. Taxes. Livery licenses. So you want to make a motion, have a motion, I Chairman? Did, have we checked the taxes? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. That's a good question. Oh, what was it? January? So what is the next? Uh, next meeting? Yeah, we could do a quick special. Yeah. Yeah, we can do a special yeah, right after days. Christmas. Yeah, let's not want. do it until you do I the make a motion follow we adjourn. up. Right. Yeah. I second. All right. Well, before we adjourn, I just want to. Uh, uh, I'm going to wish everybody, and I'm sure the board is with me, all the Mashpee residents. Uh, I wish you a uh, Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, um, uh, season's greetings, whatever makes you uh, makes it work for you and um i hope you have a, a safe and happy holiday and a happy new year i think Thanks. santa claus has done a very good